So the key takeaways from the good practice guide for technology transfer is that we've updated the guide with this third edition to include uh, new developments in industry, in particular uh, the application of parallel processing, of running phases of technology transfer uh, in parallel, uh, and also the utilization of co-development between companies, within a company, and um, between functions in order to move technology transfer forward more effectively. What's new in the guide specifically is new case studies. Uh, these case studies describe uh, contract manufacturing uh, transfers between contract manufacturing facilities. They bring into consideration of cultural differences between companies, the application of the phases of technology transfer and the requirements that are, that are laid out in the early chapters and then specific examples of those, um, but in a more flexible approach. So one of the things that make this, makes this guide unique is with an international team of authors. All the authors have extensive experience in technology transfer, but also in other di disciplines, such as quality, engineering. I think the other thing that makes this guide unique is the contributions from our industry reviewers. We received over 462 comments from industry. All those comments were valuable. But, you know, a common question is, what are the regulations for technology transfer? And the short answer is, there aren't any. Technology transfer is a cross-functional discipline that pulls together uh, quality management systems, risk management, project management. Many of these other disciplines come together in the practice of technology transfer. As we read the guide uh, and look at the examples that are offered in the appendix, you can see a lot of these themes coming together. And it's the intersection of disciplines that uh, is key for an effective tech transfer.